what's up with it. It's Russell Sullivan. And just give me a moment of your time, if I may, please. My fam, my people. You know what I'm saying? Just a moment of your time, please. Check it out. While we in this position because of the so-called coronavirus, can we please take a moment and just reflect? Reflect on our lives. What's important to you in life? Take money out of the equation. You can't, can't put money in it. It got to go. Take money out of there. Now, honestly, reflect what's important to you. Write down five important thoughts, the most important things in your life. Now, if anyone chose family, take a minute and think to yourself, honestly, do or would you want anything bad to happen to anyone in your family? Your children. I'm sure no one wants anything to happen to any loved ones, right? So, I ask please, my people, fam, sisters, before you take a life, before you take a life in anger, think, can I resolve this issue in another manner? Like, can I separate from this person in order to resolve this issue? Or, if I hurt this person, who can I be taking them from? Right? Do they have, do they have a family who loves them as I have one who loves me or as I love my own family? Can I resolve this issue in a more thoughtful manner? where it don't affect my community or the image of our people? See, because we all claim we want a better life. So let's take the steps necessary as a people to restore trust and safety amongst ourselves in our own communities, right? Let's find a common ground where we can live and we can gather amongst each other without violence, right? As adults and young adults, if we change what we do ourselves, if we change the physical things and the mental things that we do, we change the outcome of our communities. You know what I'm saying? See, I got an analogy for everybody. Check me out. Now, just think about this for a second. If a baby is born, right, what do he or she learn? Isn't it usually what he or she see, touch, or smell? So knowing that a baby adjusts to his or her surroundings as parents and young adults Shouldn't we give effort to make it our personal agendas, you know what I'm saying, to make what this baby see, hear, touch, and smell as pleasant as possible? This way, this way our children can grow up into boys or girls, teens, young men or young women, morally upright, able to feel safe in his or her community, not stressing or being scared of the of another person because of their appearance. See, my brothers and my sisters, we cannot continue to put things off. We cannot put this off. We must achieve. We must achieve this as a people. Check it out. As a nation of people, you know what I'm saying? A nation of people that separated, they fall, right? So, knowing that a nation of people separated fall, we must come together in good nature. There is no reason to try to be better than the, than the next man or woman. We all must just do better, right? Let's stop acting in ignorance and gain knowledge as individuals so, so you can overcome whatever obstacle that may arrive with dignity, right? So I plead with 
my people, I plead with the people of the nation today. And I ask, right? So we must act responsibly and intelligently in these times of Corona. Let's not do no wild stuff. The things that expected of, of our people, let's not do that. But let's act in intelligence and let's act responsibly, right? Let's also take time and reflect because we see better and we do better individually and in the communities in which we live. So please, I ask you, my people, I plead, let's stop the violence.